And now we start with Burundi. The United Nations has asked the International Criminal Court to investigate whether human rights violations committed in Burundi constitute crimes against humanity. Approved by the UN Commission of Inquiry on Burundi found that the authorities in the East African nation committed crimes including extrajudicial executions, torture and enforced disappearances over the past two years. According to a report published on Monday, the perpetrators include high level officials in the National Intelligence Services and the police. The UN Commission says it wants the International Criminal Court to open an investigation as soon as possible. It explained its findings were based on several months of investigations that involved interviews with more than 500 witnesses. For the first time in such a report, Burundian President Pierre Nkuruziza is named as one of the perpetrators of uh, these crimes. The opposition in Burundi has welcomed the uh, conclusions of the UN fact-finding uh, uh, mission. African news uh, journalist uh, Razia Athman and uh, Stefan Kunye give us uh, more insight on the UN report released on Monday. The UN wants top Burundian officials to be held accountable for crimes against humanity. The Commission of Inquiry has drawn a list of suspects believed to have committed the crime since April 2015, when President Pierre Nkurunzinza said he would seek a new term in office triggering violence. The report created by the UN Human Rights Council in September 2016 was based on more than 500 interviews with victims, witnesses, but Burundi's government refused to cooperate. Parts of it states that the Imbonerakure, the youth league of the ruling party, received instructions to commit human rights violations from Kurunzinza's office. Burundi is under the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court and the Commission has called on the ICC to initiate an investigation as soon as possible. The country's government has denied the allegations, accusing the investigators of being mercenaries in a Western plot to enslave African states. They said, quote, they are not investigated mercenaries paid to reinforce a narrative already in circulation in Western reports and pave the way for the ICC. This instrument in the hands of the West to enslave African states, presidential spokesman Willy Niamitwe, le responsable de la communication présidentielle. Je précise que le Burundi ayant notifié sa décision de Burundi formally announced its decision to withdraw from the ICC in October 2016. The court has until 27th October 2017 to open an investigation. Beyond this date, the ICC can only open a case if asked to do so by the UN Security Council. Nous sommes en ligne ce matin. We have on the line and scare Niko Yagize, a human rights activist in Burundi. Monsieur Niko Yagize, bonjour. Alors des enquêteurs de l'ONU. Good morning, Monsieur Niko Yagize. UN investigators at the ICC to investigate in the shortest possible time crimes against humanity committed by agents of the state in Burundi de since April Burundi 2015. What is the reaction of your NGO which works on human rights issues in Burundi? Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning. For the Iteka League, it is a sense of hope that the perpetrators of crimes will be brought to justice. The Iteka League and other organizations have cried out so much about these crimes and continue to do so. The Iteka League hopes that the results of this investigation will confirm the, veraci the veracity of our report. Is it likely that the investigations could take place at a time when Burundi is very hostile to the ICC and wants to leave? Qu'il veut d'ailleurs quitter, comme je le disais tout à l'heure. The Commission has addressed the various UN institutions, the AU and the EAC, to advocate for the protection of victims and witnesses in the fight against impunity. The Iteka League is convinced that the government of Burundi will not collaborate, especially as the alleged perpetrators of the crimes are the senior officials of the same government. Et compte sur l'unité des institutions, 
They take a league hopes that the, institu the institutions of the Commission will combine their efforts for the honor of humanity and the victims and families of the victims. Alors, des groupes de l'opposition ont aussi été épargnés. Opposition groups have also been singled out by the UN investigators, but no, no investigators, but no call to investigate their actions has been launched at the ICC. Is this not a double standard approach on the part of the investigators? Parmi les défis relevés par la commission among the challenges identified by the Commission of Enquiry are non-access to Burundi, which, which led to the problem of investigating acts by opposition parties and armed groups. In their recommendations, the Commission requested an extension of the investigation and the cooperation of the government of Burundi to investigate further where they have experienced challenges. The Commission also requested the Burundian government to renew relations with the UNHCR in Burundi and to accept 100 observers and 100 AU military experts. The latter two will be able to investigate further human rights violations committed by opposition groups of objections in addition to the crimes committed by those in power. Human rights activist Anshe Nikoya Giza speaking with us there from the Burundian capital, Bujumbura.